Eric, also spelt Iraq, is a distilled alcoholic drink typically produced in the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia, made from either the fermented sap of coconut flowers, sugarcane, grain e red rice, or fruit, depending upon the country of origin. The clear distillate may be blended, aged in wooden barrels, or repeatedly distilled and filtered depending upon the taste and color objectives of the manufacturer. Eric is not to be confused with Iraq, an anise-flavored alcoholic beverage traditionally consumed in Eastern Mediterranean and North African countries. Etymology The word derived from the Arabic word Iraq, requ-arq, meaning distillate. In the Middle East and Near East, the term Iraq is usually used for liquor distilled from grapes and flavored with anise. Unlike Iraq, the word Eric has been considered by some experts to be derived from areca nut, a palm seed originating in India from the areca tree and used as the basis for many varieties of Eric. In 1838, Samuel Morewood's work on the histories of liquors was published. On the topic of Eric, he said, Regardless of the exact origin, Eric has come to symbolize a multitude of largely unrelated, distilled alcohols produced throughout Asia and the Eastern Mediterranean. This is largely due to the proliferation of distillation knowledge throughout the Middle East during the 14th century. Each country named its own alcohol by using various Latin alphabet forms of the same word which was synonymous with distillation at the time Iraq, Araka, Araki, Ariki, Eric, Eric, Reiki, Rak, Rak, Rac, Rac, Rac. Topic. Eric in different countries Topic. India Eric was banned in the states of Kerala in 1996, and Karnataka on 1 July 2007. Topic. Indonesia In Indonesia, the term Iraq is widely used to describe the Eric. Iraq or rice wine was a popular alcoholic beverage during the colonial era. It is considered the rum of Indonesia, because like rum, it is distilled from sugarcane. It is a pot still distillation. To start the fermentation, local fermented red rice is combined with local yeast to give a unique flavor and smell of the distillate. It is distilled to approximately 70% ABV. Like rum, Batavia Eric is often a blend of different original parcels. One of the longest established Iraq company in Indonesia is the Batavia Iraq Company Dutch Batavia Iraq Machapij, which was already in business by 1872, became a limited liability company in 1901, and was still operating in the early 1950s. The Batavia Iraq Company also exported Iraq to the Netherlands and had an office in Amsterdam. Some of the Eric brand produced by Batavia Iraq Company were KWT produced in the Bandengan Kampung Baru area of Old Jakarta and OGL. Batavia Eric is said to enhance the flavor when used as a component in other products, as in the herbal and bitter liqueurs. It is used as a component in liqueurs like the punch, pastries like the Scandinavian Runeberg tort or the Dresdner Stalin, and also in the confectionery and flavor industries. In Indonesia, Eric is often created as a form of moonshine. Such illicit production may result in methanol-tainted Eric that can lead to death. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Philippines. The Filipino term for wine and by extension alcoholic beverages in general is alak, derived from the Arabic word arak. The term Iraq, though, is specifically used in Ilocano. Lambanog is commonly described as coconut wine or coconut vodka. Distilled from the sap of the unopened coconut flower, it is particularly potent, having a typical alcohol content of 80 to 90 proof 40 to 45% after a single distillation, this may go as high as 166 proof 83% after the second distillation. As with coconut eric, the process begins with the sap from the coconut flower. The sap is harvested into bamboo receptacles similar to rubber tapping, then cooked or fermented to produce a coconut toddy called tuba. The tuba, which by itself is also a popular beverage, is further distilled to produce lambanog. 
Until recently, Lambanog was considered a local analogue to moonshine and other home-brewed alcoholic drinks due to the process's long history as a cottage industry. Though usually served pure, it is traditionally flavored with raisins, but Lambanog has recently been marketed in several flavors such as mango, blueberry, pineapple, bubblegum, and cinnamon in an effort to appeal to all age groups. Quezon Province is the major producer of Lambanog wine in the Philippines because of the abundance of coconut plantations in the area. The Lambanog originated and first distilled in Tayabas in Quezon. A Spanish soldier named Alandi established the first distilling business, which has come down to the present generation as Mallory Distillery. The three main distilleries in the country are also located in Tayabas City the Mallory Distillery, the Buncayo Distillery, and the Capistrano Distillery. Vito, 2004, the Italian explorer, Antonio Pigafetta, stated that the Eric that he drank in Palawan and nearby islands in 1521 was made from distilled rice wine. <laughs> 2018 Lambanog deaths The case started on November 29 when the residents from Calamba, Laguna drank the Lambanog locally known for Eric and began to symptoms such as stomach cramps, resulting in bringing them to the hospital, they subsequently died thereafter. Person who consumed Lambanog experienced other symptoms such as nausea, chest pains, and blurry vision. Meanwhile, another four person, who were tricycle drivers, were reported to have died after they consumed Eric and 13 others were hospitalized in Quezon City. According to the authorities, the drivers were reportedly drinking at the house, sometime between November 30 to December 2, of one of the victims, where they served six liters of Eric that they bought. Shortly after, they started to experience stomach pains and vomiting. They brought to the hospital but die shortly. It was reported that most people who consumed the beverage have managed to maintain their strength. On December 7, according to the Food and Drug Administration, they found the high levels of methanol on the beverage. On December 9, the FDA recorded at least 21 person died from consuming Lambanog. Sri Lanka Sri Lanka is the largest producer of coconut eric and up until 1992 the government played a significant role in its production. Other than water, the entire manufacturing process revolves around the fermentation and distillation of a single ingredient, the sap of unopened flowers from a coconut palm Cocos nucifera. Each morning at dawn, men known as toddy tappers move among the tops of coconut trees using connecting ropes not unlike tightropes. A single tree may contribute up to 2 liters per day. Due to its concentrated sugar and yeast content, the captured liquid naturally and immediately ferments into a mildly alcoholic drink called toddy, tuak, or occasionally palm wine. Within a few hours after collection, the toddy is poured into large wooden vats, called wash backs, made from the wood of teak or beria cordifolia. The natural fermentation process is allowed to continue in the wash backs until the alcohol content reaches 5 to 7 percent and deemed ready for distillation. Distillation is generally a two-step process involving either pot stills, continuous stills, or a combination of both. The first step results in low wine, a liquid with an alcohol content between 20 and 40 percent. The second step results in the final distillate with an alcohol content of 60 to 90 percent. It is generally distilled to between 33% and 50% alcohol by volume ABV or 66 to 100 proof. The entire distillation process is completed within 24 hours. Various blends of coconut eric diverge in processing, yet the extracted spirit may also be sold raw, repeatedly distilled or filtered, or transferred back into Halmilla vats for maturing up to 15 years, depending on flavor, color and fragrance requirements. Premium blends of eric add no other ingredients, while the inexpensive and common blends are mixed with neutral spirits before bottling. Most people describe the taste as resembling a blend between whiskey and rum. Similar, but distinctively different at the same time. Coconut eric is traditionally consumed by itself or with ginger beer, a popular soda in Sri Lanka. It also may be mixed in cocktails as a substitute for the required portions of either rum or whiskey. Eric is often combined with popular mixers such as cola, soda water, and lime juice. Production types 
According to the Alcohol and Drug Information Center's 2008 report on alcohol in Sri Lanka, the types of eric are Special eric, which is produced in the highest volume, nearly doubling in production between 2002 and 2007. Molasses eric is the least processed kind and considered the common kind. Nevertheless, as a whole, eric is the most popular local alcoholic beverage consumed in Sri Lanka and produced as a wide variety of brands that fit into the following three categories. Premium aged, after distillation, is aged in Halmila vats for up to 15 years to mature and mellow the raw spirit before blending. Premium brands include Salon Eric, VSOA, VX, VAT 9, Old Reserve and Extra Special. Premium clear is generally not aged, but often distilled and or filtered multiple times to soften its taste. Premium clear brands include double distilled and blue label. Common is blended with other alcohols produced from molasses or mixed with neutral spirits as filler. Topic. Producers. Sri Lanka's largest manufacturers, listed in order based on their 2007 annual production of Eric, are DCSL Distilleries Company of Sri Lanka, 37.25 million litres IDL International Distilleries Limited, 3.97 million litres Rockland Distilleries Private Limited, 2.18 million litres Mendes, 0.86 million Latreskalon Eric, a brand of Sri Lankan coconut Eric, was recently launched in the UK in 2010. It is also available in France and Germany. White Lion VSOA entered the American market soon after. <laughs> St. Helena Historically Eric has been a common beverage on the island of St. Helena, this is likely due to influences of the East India Company, which controlled St. Helena and used it as a halfway point between India and England. <inaudible> Sweden In Sweden Arik is made into punch by mixing it with other ingredients. The alcohol content is normally not over 25%, although it has a high sugar content of nearly 30%. The original recipe was a mixture of arak, sugar, lemon water, water and tea and or spices. Today punch is mostly drunk warm as an accompaniment to yellow split pea soup, although it's also used as a flavoring in several types pastries and sweets as well. The name arak is still retained for some pastries, for example aroxbol, whereas punch is used for things like punch roll. See also Feni Uruk Iraq List of Indonesian beverages <laughs>